I've had a few people ask about how to make a tram gauge or how, how I made the tram gauge at least. Um, we'll run through that real quick. This is a three quarter inch, roughly a three quarter inch outer dimension aluminum square tube, about six feet long. I just left it at the, the factory cut there uh, just so I could have as much length as I might ever need. I found some steel. Let me take one of these off for you. I actually had these knobs left over from something else, but you can buy, you buy those just about anywhere. If you got these at McMaster Car, because I ordered something else from them. Uh, square tubing is approximately you know three quarters to probably one inch would be okay on the inside of it just so that it slides freely on the aluminum and then get you a nut get you a nut that will fit the thread of the knob the adjustment knob drill a hole where you want that to go through the uh, one second Drill a hole through the plate, excuse me, the tube, and then bolt the, bolt the nut down to the tube and weld it in place on the top. And then you've got a, a knob that will go through and bind against the aluminum shaft and tighten it down. On the other side, there's a, uh, I believe that's a, As a pointer, I just used a round piece of uh, aluminum stock, which is 3 8 diameter. So I found a piece of square tubing that that would slide in pretty easily. It's actually kind of a tight fit. I probably should have gone a little bit bigger, but uh, <clears throat> essentially the same thing on that. Drill a hole through it, weld a nut. We got a wing nut on that. So this piece will slide along the actual bar and then the other piece, you can adjust the pin up and down and just weld those together at about a 90 degree angle. I just eyeballed it. It doesn't have to be exact. You're just basically making two pointers that you can, can cinch down and, and keep fixed in position. And just be careful when you, when you transfer from, from one side of the car to the other that you don't, don't bump the pointer and, and bend it or kick it out. You want to keep it consistent. And if you want to set them at a certain measurement since you don't have any graduations on the bar. Get you a tape, lay it on the floor and get you a tape measure and set those where you want them to be. And then just be very careful that you don't bump it uh, to lose your, lose your distance. You can take one of these and maybe put a joint in the middle if you wanted to, um, to be able to shorten it and use two pieces of, uh, of the main bar that would, would telescope together just to shorten the whole over, overall bar if you ever needed to. I've never run into that issue. Uh, but that's essentially what I did here. Painted everything black just to keep it from rusting, make it look nice. Let me know if you have any questions on it. It's a fairly simple deal. Um, let me get a measurement on this for you. Maybe that'll help. Set it down over here. This is approximately about an inch and a half long, something like that. And then I did, wanted this to be fairly stable. So I put a little bit more length on it, almost three inches. And I got a couple extra pointers. I had four made down to a, basically it's a pencil point. So it'll drop in just about any hole. A little bit bigger, maybe a, a half inch bar would probably be better. Some of these holes are a little bigger than this and the whole thing drops through. And so you can't completely get it centered. Um, but for the most part, this, this has worked for just about everything I need. See you later.